Hollow Knight, originally released in February of 2017, retailing for $14.99 and available on all modern platforms. Hollow Knight is a Metroidvania, taking place in a now ruined kingdom of insects and other bugs. How exactly this kingdom came to ruin is never expressly stated, but rather just hinted at in small ways, almost in the same style as a Souls-like game. But the story can pretty well be pieced together if you're willing to look everywhere. There are many little secrets and details everywhere if you're just willing to look for them. In fact, whole areas of the games can be missed entirely if you don't do a thorough enough job looking. There are actually several different endings to this game, and which ending you get is determined by how much you've done within the game world. So depending how much time you're willing to spend exploring, this game could be as short as about 12 hours, or as long as almost 70. It's all a matter of how much effort you're willing to put into the game, really. But if you do choose to go for a completionist route, there is a lot here to keep you entertained, including completely free expansion content that's been released over the years. You play as The Knight, a silent protagonist that has seemingly just wandered into Hollowcrest. You start with very little, a small health pool, and a dull weapon. Over the course of the game, you'll see your health pool swell, and you will have the opportunity to get better weapons. But it's worth noting that that's optional. You will also find badges. Equipping different badges will have different effects, and the effects can be wildly different. They can give you a shield, or make your attack have more reach, or make little minions spawn around you or give you a lethal aura of stink. Which badges you decide to equip will affect the gameplay wildly. You, of course, can't equip everything at once, but you can increase the amount of badges you can equip, at least to an extent. Being a Metroidvania, you'll also get innate abilities slowly drip-fed to you. These, of course, always serve to get you into a new area. Some people have said that the areas of this game are too similar and hard to distinguish. The game is presented in a not-quite-monochrome. It certainly uses a limited color palette in any given area, but each area tends to highlight one color. The gardens, for example, have a lot of lush green, where the beehive area has more yellows the City of Tears being draped in pale blues. In fact, both the backgrounds and 2D sprite work are so fluid they look like they could have been used in some kind of animated film. I'm a little surprised something like that for Hollow Knight has never ended up happening. Of course, a big draw to any 2D Metroidvania is the bosses. They come in all shapes and sizes. But every boss here is about pattern recognition. Earlier bosses have fairly simple patterns, where late game bosses become much more intricate in their patterns. But if you're having too much difficulty on any given boss, try playing around with your badges. Certain badge combinations can be very good against certain bosses. They aren't required, but if you need to give yourself an edge, this is one way to do it. And if you're finding things too easy, you eventually unlock a certain ability that lets you fight harder versions of bosses. And oh my, are they much harder. While they do have more hit points and hit harder, that's not really what's more difficult. The bosses will have more intricate patterns, and they will move much faster. So get ready to have your reaction time really put to the test. So is Hollow Knight worth your time and money? It's only $15 on any given platform, and has a ton of content. Of course it's worth your time and money. It has beautiful, fluid 2D sprite work, it's had free expansions, and just a ton of optional content for you to get involved with. Please do subscribe, comment, like, and tell your friends.